finally ready to discuss the Navier-Stokes equations. Um, but before we get there, let me just um, remind you of uh, what we have so far. We have the full momentum equations and continuity equations. I'm going to write things in conservation form. We have d rho by dt plus div rho u equals zero for mass conservation. Mass conservation. And for momentum, I'm going to write it in um, conservation form. d rho u by dt plus div u rho u equal to minus uh, grad p plus div tau plus rho g, conservation of momentum, conservation of momentum. Momentum, or we can write this in the weak form, which is equivalent, or rho du by dt plus u dot grad u equal to minus grad p plus div tau plus rho g. Same thing, just the weak form. So in general, um, we have the following unknowns. Unknowns. We have rho u v w and p. So we have one, two, three, four, five unknowns. And equations, we have one for mass conservation and three momentum. So we have one, two, three, four, five unknowns, five unknowns and four equations. Obviously, this is not enough. So um, what we need uh, in addition to this, because we have density and um, pressure over here, what we would need is to supplement this with an equation of state. So plus we do equation of state, equation of state, which introduces um, another variable, um, which is temperature. So let's say P is equal to rho RT. And this introduces another variable. So we need one more equation for thermal energy. So that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six equations. We would need one more unknown over here, T. And that gives us a total of six equations and six unknowns, closure, closure. Okay, now this is typically what you want to solve, what you want to deal with for compressible flows. We're not going to talk about the energy equation right now, maybe later in the course, but the simplest model um, where we can simplify this is to assume incompressible flow. And this would lead, um, lead us to the constant density Navier-Stokes equations. So we, if we do um, incompressible, compressible, constant density, or it's just enough to say constant density flows, then um, the density disappears. And we no longer actually need an equation um, uh, for the temperature. So we don't need an equation of state nor an equation um, uh, for energy. So the temperature disappears and the density disappears uh, because it's constant. So we're only left with four unknowns and we would have four equations. And then the governing equations turn into simply div u equals zero. And the weak form of the momentum equations it's du by dt plus u dot grad u, and I'm going to divide by the density, is minus 1 over rho grad p plus 1 over rho div tau, okay, plus g. And for unknowns, unknowns, 
we have rho, uh, we have sorry, u, v, w, and p for equations. We have one for mass and three for momentum. So in total, we have four unknowns and four equations. This is a closed system, closed system of equations or perfectly determined. Okay. So these are um, the precursors to the Navier-Stokes equations. Now, one thing we want to do here is look at this term, div, div, tau, and simplify it. Simplify using div u equal to zero. So we wrote tau as mu dui by dxj plus duj by dxi minus 2 over 3 mu delta ij div u. Well, obviously, this guy is 0 by virtue of uh, the continuity equation. So that tau is simply mu dui by dxj plus duj by dxi. Okay. Now, there's another form where we can write this in, and that's equal to mu grad u plus grad u transpose. Okay, so if you think about it, this is adding up the derivatives of um, adding up. All. So grad u contains all of these derivatives. Right, so du by dx, du by dy, du by d, dz, and dv by dx, dv by dy, etc. And grad u transpose is the transpose of that. So this contains uh, these elements, and this guy contains these elements, right? So um, let's actually expand that. If u equal ui plus vj plus wk grad u is the following tensor. So d by dx i plus d by dy j plus d by dz k into u i plus v j plus w k. That gives you um, d by, du by dx i i okay, plus dv by dx i j plus um, dw by dx i k. So this is the first row of the tensor plus um, dv by dx uh, i, sorry, plus du by dy of j i plus uh, dv by dy jj plus dw by dy jk plus du by dz i uh, k i plus dv by dz k j plus dw by dz k k and therefore grad u if you want to write this in uh, vector and in, in matrix form, uh, this simply turns into du by dx, dv by dx, and dw by dx, and du by dy, dv by dy, dw by dy, du by dz, dv by dz, and dw by dz. Now, let's compare the two. So we said that tau is equal to mu dui by dxj plus duj by dxi. That's tau ij. And we can write this as following tensor mu 
So ij in this location, that's 1, 1. So that gives us 2 du by dx. And in this spot, that's the first row, the second column, that's tau 1, 2 over here, right? So if you tau 1, 1, tau 1, 2, tau 1, 3, tau 2, 1, tau 2, 2, tau 2, 3, tau 3, 1, tau 3, 2, tau 3, 3. Okay, so tau 1, 2 over here, we will have du by dy plus dv by dx. And over here, 1, 3, we have du by dz plus dw by dx. And in this spot here, tau 2, 1, we would have, again, because it's symmetric, du by dy plus dv by dx, 2 dv by dy, that's tau 2, 2. And then tau 2, 3, d, e, dv by dz plus dw by dy. And in this last slot here, we have symmetry, du by dz plus dw by dx. And also symmetry here, dv by dz plus dw by dy. That's tau 3, 2. And then 2 dw by dz. Now we claim that this is equal to grad to mu grad u plus grad u transpose. So what is grad u? Grad u is equal. We just showed this on the previous page. And that was equal du dx dv dx dw dx u by dx, dv, dx, dw, dx, du, dy, dv, dy, dw, dy, du, dz, dv, dz, dw, dz. And grad u transpose is simply the transpose of that. So we have du by dx, so this first row become the first column, becomes the first column, dv dx dw dx, and then the second row becomes the second column, so you have du dy, dv dy, dw dy, so instead, so over here the derivatives were u v w versus x u v w with respect to y u v w with respect to z over here u v w with respect to x u v w with respect to y and u v w with respect to z over columns d w by d z now when you add the two grad u plus grad u transpose what you get is the following tensor two du by dx, du dy plus dv dx, du dy plus dv dx, and dw dx plus du by dz, and then dv by dx plus du by dy, 2 dv by dy, dv by dz plus dw by dy, and then du by dz, so we're just adding the elements, plus dw by dx, and then dv dz plus dw dy to dw by dz. And you can see how this guy is equal to that guy. Now why did I do this? This identity that tau can be written as mu grad u plus grad u transpose we can simplify the equations quite a bit um, and by doing the following if we take div tau we get div mu grad u plus grad u transpose and assuming mu is constant because we already assumed that, you know, we've decoupled things from the energy equation. There's 
no significant coupling between the all thermodynamic quantities, rho, pressure, and the energy. So we can reasonably assume mu is constant here. And we could say this is mu div grad u plus mu div grad u transpose. If you remember early on, this is the Laplacian. So this gives us the Laplacian of u. But there's a really cool identity here that we can invoke. And that's the div of grad u transpose is equal to the grad of div u. And what is div u? It's equal to zero by virtue of mass conservation. Continuity. And so this is simply equal mu del squared Finally, we can simplify the Navier-Stokes equations, uh, the governing equations to get to the Navier-Stokes equations. So, Navier-Stokes. Their name is Claude Navier and George Stokes. We have div u equal to zero and rho du by dt, I decided to not, not to divide by rho this time, plus u dot grad u is equal to minus grad p plus mu del squared u plus rho g. And these are the Navier-Stokes equations for a flow with rho is constant mu is constant. Now to expand the individual components of, um, of, this, uh, of these equations, um, there's a little trick you can use that I've uh, kind of always liked to use and that is for uh, the choose the component of momentum or the velocity that you care about and simply replace so if you're choosing u, so replace this u and this u by the same u. If you're choosing v, put v over here, v over here, and v over here. And if you're choosing w, 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 and w, everything else remains the same. So x momentum, you get rho du by dt plus u dot grad u, oops, u, is equal to minus dp by dx plus mu del squared u plus rho g. Okay, in this case you actually do not need the parentheses right now. U dot grad u. Actually, you turn it this way. And then for y momentum, you get rho dv by dt plus u dot grad v. So this term will give you u dv by dx plus v dv by dy plus w dv by dz. That's what we're after. Minus dp by dy plus mu del squared v. So this would give you d2v by dx squared plus uh, d2v by dy squared plus d2v by dz squared um, plus, so this would be rho gx, rho gy, and for the z momentum, this would give you rho dw by dt plus u dot grad w equal minus dp by dz plus mu dot squared w plus rho gz. Okay.